probably need a slightly bigger. Watch, watch, watch. Okay, so now for the lightning, I have 3D printed a new visor, so to speak, that the uh, is gonna go around. Oh, can't see that in camera here. It's gonna go around here like that, and in here then is uh, this small little lightning list. This one is going to go in there to light a little more up. So now I'm just going to glue that. And here I have also printed some other plastic pieces. These are made for uh, edges here. So I'm just going to stack them up next to each other like so. All around the bottom and all around the top to uh, Make it a little more fancy, in a very easy way. So, uh, yeah, this might as well just do that immediately now, so that gets a little time to, to sit. Okay, so now I have applied these edge details around the entirety of the, uh, the bottom tank plate. So it's not 100% done. This is basically how it's going to look. I'm just going to finish it up later with uh, you know, some uh, filler here and there and then touching it later up with some black paint as well. But so far so good, right? I like this uh, result, I like this design. This will be uh, very neat when it's done. Now, I need some lightning, of course, or power for the lightning. So I'm just gonna take this uh, original, you know, contact, cut the wire somewhere where I can just add this one that I uh, drew into the tank before. So cut this one in here and then at the other end this piece so I can connect it later. So I've checked so the light works already. If the light didn't work then uh, I would have claimed it for warranty but now since it does work and the warranty will fuck itself up when I cut this wire very important to check so it works before you do that. So I'm just gonna solder this into place here. go like there and now I just need to shrink it and uh, normally I would have used a normal lighter for this but I don't have a normal lighter because I don't smoke so I'm just gonna take a not so normal lighter to do this very little heat is needed here so just very fast there we go There we go. Now I can actually take this back a little uh, from the uh, tank. Put a little more wire on the other side instead. So I'm just gonna push this wire back.
Okay, so now I can glue the light in place. And I need to see here. I have it on going there or there. It's depending on how much wire I have, I guess. Now I'm gonna stick with uh, doing it on this side, so it's this way of the tank rather than that side of the tank. Because uh, then you can hide it a little better. I just I 3D printed that and I have uh, put a little bit of white on top of it just to make it more diffused. So now I just put the stripe in there. Neat. And now I'm just gonna glue this into place. Okay, so just a little bit on the inside here, doesn't need to be much. Something like that. And then not the same on the other side. And then just a little bit in the front as well. There, that's enough. Now I'm just gonna smear this out a little. With a knife, just to get it a little bit more spread. side as well of course there we go now let's just put this into place get the wire back there and now carefully to not get that gray stuff too much across everything take it out bend it out a little go. It's neat and nice. Making sure it's all the way down into the construction there. And then I got some gray stuff anyway here. I'm just gonna wipe that off. It's gonna be tricky I guess. It's one of those glues. It's really gonna make you pay for your mistakes. But uh, hey, I'm not giving up that easy. Now this uh, light that I did, uh, that's the second or third 3D print, because uh, the first two that I did, they didn't fit inside the tank when the tank was here. This will just about touch the edges of the glass tank here, so this one fits. Right, there's one more modification that I need to do. Uh, now, if I remove this motherboard here, and all the cables, there, now we have disconnected everything. I'm just gonna lift that away for a while. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I need to tend to one more detail. I'm gonna use these pipes to refill Novik when you need to refill Novik. The problem is that I don't have a natural exit for air, uh, so the air pressure can, you know, go out when you're refilling Novik. So I'm just gonna make a little, little cut into the pipe so you can get the air out when you're refilling. So I'm just gonna make the cut. Like around here, there's not gonna be ever that much Novik in, so I don't really need to put it higher. So I'm just gonna very carefully you now make this cut, make it as small as possible. Do this 
very, very careful now. Just a little bit like that. Tighten it. A bit more. Should be fine. Let's see. Yep, there's a hole there now. Perfect. I don't know if there's any way I can show that on camera. But there's a little bit of black in there, which means the hole is straight through. Perfect. You can actually test it by blowing into it as well. Yeah, there's definitely a hole there. So, that's not going to be an issue now. Fast modification, that makes it a whole lot better. I think actually we're pretty much done with the inside of the tank. So, now I can just put the motherboard back into place. And put it all back into the tank. So, let's do that. Here it looks good. We have the USB, we have the network, we have the power. That's all we need. So let's take that just back into the tank. There, that's done. So this is nice now. We have everything in the tank and very little reason to revisit the inside of the tank. Of course, uh, when the final demo is gonna go, uh, we do need to remove the uh, processor uh, cooler, uh, otherwise it wouldn't be much of a demo. But I'm just gonna leave that in for now. And that's one of the last things ever we're gonna do uh, when we refill the Novik. So then I'll do that at the same time. Okay, so yeah, that's basically the inside of the tank. All done. Now we need to prep the outside, and of course we've already done that a little while, a uh, little with the, the, the trimming here. But now we need to do the top, and we need to make it really, really tight, so no Novel gas goes out. So I'm thinking to have three threaded rods, one in each pylon, that we can tighten together like a vise from the top and from the bottom. And then, when that's done, we uh, glue everything and then we epoxy everything as well to uh, minimize all the stuff that can leak. So, first I need to do the uh, threaded rod bit, see how we're gonna solve that. I did uh, pre-drill all those holes, so let's see. Ooh. Now I don't have a third one to put in the back one at the moment uh, because I only bought two I need to cut them off first. Put a normal nut here and then I can have a wing nut under the construction to tighten it. So uh, we'll, we'll stick with that plan right now. So lift this up again, put a wing nut 
or a normal nut and nut on that. You probably need a slightly bigger washer. The tank cracked for no apparent reason. Okay, now that was interesting. Now, uh, I don't know why, but the uh, tank cracked without me touching it. Okay, I can take that. Um, interesting. <laughs> well, I guess I'm off to buy a new tank then. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.